Yo, what is going on, Vulcan Turtle family? I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Look, elephant in the room, I've been away for a little while on my own channel, but I've been streaming pretty regularly over on Twitch. Who am I kidding? It hasn't been very regular, but I have been streaming quite a bit more over on my Twitch than I have been making YouTube videos for this channel. I've been making a lot of more videos for the Shuffle Squad over on their channel, which I'm a part of, and it's been a lot of fun working in that team dynamic and just having a lot of fun growing as a player, and I put a lot more focus in becoming a better player than making you guys content, and for that, I truly do apologize. I didn't mean to kind of just leave you guys hanging over on the YouTube channel, which I definitely want to grow. By the end of the year, I want to hit 500 subscribers, and I can't do that if I'm not uploading content. So prepare for more uploads and a little bit better sauce from here and there. We want to play more fun decks, more interesting takes, and give you guys reports on actual good decks. So today, what are we actually going to be doing? We're going to be playing around with a deck that I feel like has been forgotten because it lost a really decent engine, which was Inteleon Drizzile. But what do we do if we don't have Inteleon Drizzile? Well, we play Bip Barrel, baby. That's right. We are playing Palkia today and we're going to have a lot of fun and see if we can maybe come up with a very viable list. So let's jump into some games and I'll show you a little bit about the list since Pokemon Live doesn't like to show full deck list, so let's go to live. A big thank you to PTCGO Store for sponsoring the channel. You guys can check out the link in the description where you can use code VULCANTURTLE at checkout to save 5% on your order for your code card needs for PTCGO or PTCGL. Thank you again PTCGO Store for sponsoring the channel. Thank you Fantasy TCG for sponsoring the channel. If you guys want to go and save money on IRL product, check out the link in the description to save 5% on your order with coupon code VULCANTURTLE to get all your IRL PTCG needs. Thank you again Fantasy TCG for sponsoring the channel. Palkia V-Star, the card that has been forgotten thanks to rotation. Now this card used to see a bunch of play and now it virtually sees zero. So why is that? Well, we did lose Drizzile to the rotation which had shady dealings and the Inteleon that had shady dealings. It allowed you to search your deck for item cards and was able to get Palkia like exploding at a very fast rate. However, we don't have that card anymore, so what do we have instead? Well, one card that we have instead to kind of fill the void is Babero, which was around during the same time, but arguably is not as good as Drizzile. So, why do I want to play around Palkia? Well, 280 damage is a very relevant number to hit, and considering that the meta is shifting towards filling up your bench as fast as possible, yeah, I'm looking at you, Gardevoir, Amaridon, and Lugia and lost box and oh wait that's literally every deck in the format you want to fill up your bench as fast as possible and that is where palkia v star shines it is able to do 60 damage and then 20 more damage for each bench pokemon in play so that's yours and your opponents which is really good and its star portal ability allows us to accelerate three energy from our discard part discard pile to any three poke or to any pokemon that we want so that's really really good they have to be water pokemon of course but you're mostly only playing water pokemon to attack with anyway so it's not that big of a deal star portals are really really good but if we're not going to be attacking with palkia and let's say we are in the position where our opponent is pretty smart, pretty big brained, and they put something down like, oh, I don't know, a Vulpix V-Star, or maybe even something bulky, but they don't want to fill up their bench. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is where Calyrex VMAX comes in. Calyrex VMAX has the max lance attack for two water energy, allows us to discard those two energy to do 120 damage for each card discarded this way. And I hear what you're saying, but Vulcan, that's 260 damage. Sure, but with a belt, we're going all the way up to a number that knocks out good Pokemon. So 250 plus 30, yeah, sounds like 100 or 280 damage to me, which is a really good number to hit considering that the majority of E-Stars have 280 HP. So really good card. We're also playing a copy of Drapion because Mew is everywhere. And Starmie V. Now this card is a great card because it's a pivoter. It has free retreat. You can put it in the active and retreat it when everything's all said and done. But it also has a really good attack called Energy Spiral. It will do 50 damage for each energy card attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. So if they decide to get a little more aggressive, like if they're playing Dial V star or if they are really hitting those electric generators you can come in and get a huge knockout with Starmie V which is really really nice 
for more extra consistency, we do have the Radiant Greninja. Little star pieces here that I want to talk about. Obviously, we have to play Melanie at four copies. It's just that good. And we are playing quite a bit of Boss's Order since we want to go on a Boss Knockout, Boss Knockout route. And Lost City. Now, Lost Box plays Raikou. That sucks for us. However, if we can Lost City it away, we are able to put ourselves in the position to not worry about weakness anymore. And the other big thing that we can actually do with Lost City is knock out some one of Pokemon or Pokemon that are attackers like in Lost Box, for instance, Cramorants and uh, Dragonites and stuff. If you can start getting rid of all their attackers, yes, you're building up their loss zone, but once all those attackers are gone, they're not going to really be able to do too much to you for the rest of the game. So Lost City is a really, really good card in this list. So I will put the link in the or the list in the description where you guys can check out the full 60, make changes and let me know in the comments what you would change. So let's get into a couple of games. All right, everybody, here we go. We are getting into our first game with the prototype Palkia list. Now, again, this is a deck list that I feel like should be community driven by you guys in the comments. What changes would you make? What works for you? What doesn't work for you? And do you think that Palkia has a place in the meta? Personally, I think it might actually be okay. However, we do have a couple of really good cards coming out in the future, like Champau and Baxcalibur coming out that may make Palkia extremely good, even as a 1-1. So we'll see. All right, so our start here is actually not bad. We do have ourselves a Greninja, if it'll let me put it down. So not bad there. We have Greninja. And we're up against a Rhydon. Okay, so we are up against an electric deck. That is kind of painful, but we'll see if we can make anything work. We'll go ahead and conceal cards here. Get a water energy into the discard. Got ourselves a Calyrex, who, mind you, is not weak to electric type Pokemon, which is really good. Heavy Ball. Let's check the prizes out. Okay, nothing too vital here. We did lose a Melanie. We have an Irida in there. We do play three copies, so one gone isn't that bad. Choice Belt might suck, but honestly, it's not all that bad here. Okay, so that is fine. Let's go ahead and use this Nest Ball so we can go get ourselves a Palkia. Get Palkia on the bench, and we can go on ahead and attach an energy to our Calyrex and pass the turn. All right, so we had a pretty productive turn one here. Feels pretty good. Maridon's actually kind of scary with that tandem unit ability, being able to fill up the bench. But as a Palkia player, we want the benches full. The more Pokemon in play, the more damage we are going to be doing. So we definitely like that a lot. And considering the fact that, yeah, Palkia is weak to electric, Calyrex is not, and it can hit good numbers. Okay, so I think the big scary monster that we have to look out for here is Raikou V. If we can get ourselves a Lost City down plus a knockout, we can get rid of the Raikou very, very easily. So hopefully that's the situation that we can put ourselves in. Okay, Regilecki V's filling up the bench. They want to get to that VMAX so they can do a lot of damage, but they did not get there. Okay, you know what? We take that. We take that. Let's go on ahead and Melanie onto our Calyrex. Okay, nothing too grand there. Let's go ahead and conceal cards. Draw two more. VIP pass and more uh, and a pokey gear, huh? Okay, that's not bad though. We actually have the Ultra Ball in hand, so we'll just toss these two VIP passes to get ourselves uh, the VMAX. Feels pretty good there, not gonna lie. Kind of wish we got ourselves the Lost City, but I don't think uh, Maridon plays a lot of recovery anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Go ahead and attach to Palkia and Evolve. We can retreat our Greninja, go in with Calyrex, and swing 250 damage onto this Raikou V for a huge knockout. All right, that feels pretty good. Plus, we have a Melanie in hand, so we can rebuild up this Calyrex in no time. Got a boss's orders too. Feels really nice. We could boss out something like Maridon or even a Reggie Lucky V. So we reduce the amount of extra damage that can be done by their basic Pokemon. Yeah, we're liking this. We are liking this family. Another tandem unit coming in. Probably, yep, a second Raikou. I have yet to see a Maridon list not play at least two Raikou. If they play one, I mean, it's possible. You see it from time to time, but I have yet to see one uh, where someone's decided that one was good i think two is the really really solid number in this list okay so raiko fleet-footed attached return but they can't electric generator onto a pokemon in the active ha got him all right so 
this is just another knockout here honestly we'll go ahead and melanie onto our calyrex draw our three got ourselves a bidoof which is nice can attach here and we can slam down this lost city and while we're at it we can put the choice belt on to make them scoop baby that's right electric weakness has nothing on us all right, everybody, here we go into game two here with our prototype Palkia list. I'm calling it a prototype because I feel like there's a lot of changes that could be made. Ooh, Steel type. Steel type can actually be very scary. Uh, if it's Dialga, we know that they can knock out our Calyrex, so we might not want to evolve our Calyrex unless we can get knockouts on the Magna Zones. Uh, so that's going to be difficult. However, we do play... Uh, Greninja and if we can actually build up the Greninja easily we are able to just snipe snipe away at those Magna zones so or uh the Magna Magna might I should say while they're on the bench all right one mulligan for us that's no problem let's go ahead and draw we are able to go first got ourselves a VIP pass plus the doof good old doof hanging out with us we got a pokey gear so we might be able to find ourselves some Pokemon that we might need or some supporter we might need it is Dialga Okay, not a problem, not a problem. Let's go ahead and VIP pass here. I think it might be necessary to get the Palkia. And we do have the Greninja. So not bad, not bad at all. Let's go ahead and use Greninja's concealed cards to draw two cards. Hopefully hit something like... Ah, we wanted a second Palkia. We do have it though. We have the Nest Ball in hand to make that happen. Yeah, I think it might be necessary. Just to have it. And we also have Starmie V as well, which could come in and take a huge knockout since Dialga likes to build up a huge amount of energy. So we will see if we can actually pull off a huge knockout here. Getting a turn one knockout on the origin form at Dialga V would be really good, especially if they only have the one in play. So we'll see. We will see, everybody. Okay, VIP pass and a full face guard. Actually, have not seen full face guard in Dialga. Which is really interesting, considering that I think it does lose... Hold on. Uh, this Pokemon has... No, no, no. Dialga doesn't have any abilities. It has an attack. So, okay. You know what? Makes sense. I like it. I like it. Okay, so this is actually really good for us, everybody. This is actually really good for us. Let's see here. We have one energy currently in the discard. This could make two. We could just snipe the Magnemite and put 90 on the Dialga. I think that's something that we could possibly just go for. Hmm. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, but we minus 30, so that's no good. But we can do this. Do we fill up the bench? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 160 right now. 180. 200 we would need the belt which is what irida can't get us anymore okay let's just go ahead and melanie onto the palkia okay let's go ahead and conceal cards here got a lost city so that's not bad we can't fill up the bench unfortunately but what we can do is at this point we can just swing with the palkia uh, yeah, that might be the right way to go about it. We'll just go ahead and retreat, come in with Palkia. I think we have to start Portal now. Little unfortunate, little unfortunate, but hey, it is what it is. We'll go ahead and build up the two Palkias instead of going in with the Greninja. Maybe we should have went and got a boss's orders instead. We will lost Vacuum away a Calyrex VMAX. We don't really need to be playing that card if we know it's going to get knocked out. And we will just swing for 160 damage this turn. Make it a little bit easier for the other Palkia to knock out at some point. Another Magnemite. Okay, you know what? That is fine. That is fine. We could Pokey Gear and get a uh, Boss's Orders to knock out one of these Magnemites. However, if they don't put another Dialga down this turn, we could just go for the knockout on the Dialga. That might be the right way to go about this. Okay, Ultra Ball getting the barrel. Very well, very well. Very different approach to the Dialga V-Star deck. Uh, a lot of the decks now are actually running uh, Rodon V with uh, Maridon EX, so that way they can get the Electric-type Magnemites out from Scarlet and Violet. Okay, but they're coming in with this Magnemite wanting to protect the Dialga, so we do have a boss technically in hand through Luminion. All right, let's use this Energy Search to get ourselves an Energy. 
We can use Greninja to dig two cards deeper. We can Poke Gear. We got the boss anyway. All right, you know what? That is fine. We'll go ahead and use the boss's orders here. Build up our Palkia on the bench and just swing for 180 since they put another Pokemon on the bench. Easy day. Get ourselves a knockout on the Dialga V before it becomes a V star and a real problem. All right, so I think from this point, we just kind of like solo roll building up the Giratina. Arvin or Avery doesn't actually even affect us that badly here, which is really nice. Okay, so now the now the plan has changed. Now the plan has changed. They're going to go get another Dialga. They got the V star. They scooped. Okay. <laughs> It's like, why, why get the V-Star? All right, guys, that is going to be today's video. I truly appreciate you guys coming to watch. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit that big, you know, red button down below that says subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. We're trying to hit 500 by the end of the year, and we're pretty close. And expect more uploads. No more super long breaks. I'm over what has been going on. So we definitely are going to be coming back with a lot more content. So in the comments, let me know what you guys want to see. And if you guys want it, we'll make it happen. Live is so much easier to make decks with. So if I don't have the cards, I'll just craft them and we'll make more videos. It's very simple. So let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. And again, thank you guys for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. So until next time, stay safe. I love y'all. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.